Holy cow, that neighborhood dog. I love animals, but not when I'm filming. Okay, I'm going to the Greek festival today in Ottawa, and I'm very excited. This is a Smashbox Halo Glow, and I am in light medium. It's one of my favorites. It's nice and light. It gives my skin a nice skin-like finish, and it also has SPF 25. Again, not sponsored, just love the product. If you've been here for a while, you know that this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna use Westman, no, hmm. Yeah, maybe Westman Atelier Face Trace. Oh, I just, phew. my husband keeps giving me the countdown. Kind of want just a bronzed look today. I am not doing this very precise, which is very typical of me usually. The only time I really am particular with my makeup is if I'm doing a tutorial or if I have time and I just want to relax and play. But in general, I'm in a rush. Time management is not my thing. There. It is hot and humid today. So I'm not gonna worry about this too much. No, I just wanna go and have fun. I don't wanna worry about my makeup, keep my skin healthy, have a little bit of a glow. That's all I want. And for my concealer, because everything else is so light, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then tap it out. I see other makeup artists doing that and I've been trying to do that more often, especially if it's a liquidy concealer like this. I don't let it sit that long. I do like having lipstick on though. So I'm using Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. It's my favorite color to outline just a little bit past my lip line, not much. And it's a great everyday lip liner. Fill it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna blend this out and I'm just gonna tap it out. focusing right in there. I love how light this is for what I'm doing today. That darn sunspot. I can never get that covered. Little bit of bronzing powder over top of the face trace. It just sets it and enhances it. I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Oh, that's a lot. Let me wipe some of that off. A hmm, little bit of stands out sponge <laughs> to get that off. Let's just blend the edges. Ooh, better. Goodness. Before I do that, let me put some eyeshadow on. And I'm keeping my eyeshadow really light today. I think I might just, yeah, leave it like that. I think sometimes going to these things with a ton of makeup on, especially where I live, not that that should ever stop you from just dressing how you want. It's gonna be hot and it's gonna look a little silly for me. Okay, maybe a little bit of a liner. This is what happens. Like, oh, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. That's pretty. maybe a bit in the outer corner. Just a little bit of bronzer in through here, just to lift the eye a little bit. They are getting more and more hooded. It's a great way to just boost it up and not pull out a whole palette. I'm having a hot flash. I think it's the lights, because I don't have them until I come here. Oh, they're not perfect. Get down, get down. That's better. Maybe a little bit of powder right there. Before I put my mascara on, I'm gonna set. I have to share my new favorite mascara. I've been trying a lot out and I keep reaching for this one. It's the YSL Lash Clash. I paid for it. I had to try it. I don't treat myself to really expensive mascaras very often, and I keep reaching for it. It gives me the fluffiest lashes without clumping. I absolutely love it. Look, one coat. I'm trying not to do the mascara face. It's so pretty. And wait until I show you what it looks like after I do that lash hack. It looks like I've got false lashes on. It's so good. Now, the only thing I find with that is because I put so much powder, I actually have some residue on my lashes. So I do go back over it again with another coat just to make sure you can't see any powder residue. Or is that my third coat? That's my third coat. Got a little messy on this eye, so I gotta clean that up first. I think I need a little bit of blush. Makeup by Mario, let's do that. And lips. And now off to the Greek festival. 